Hey everybody, we're out here this morning going to test the battery that we built last night. Um, I did install it on the drone last night after it charged and took a look and it's still showing me 4 minutes on 100%. Um, I did charge it through the Altel connector, through the Altel charger to make sure that it was the, the board saw the charging on the battery. Uh, once it was done, again that that's the result I got, I went and plugged it into the uh, LiPo charger and it verified it was fully charged. So. Um, it's in together combined it's an eight eight thousand eight hundred milliamp battery so it's almost twice as much as the alto battery was so i'm really hoping after we run it a few cycles and charge it up and down uh, or charge it and decharge it um, that the board itself will start to recognize that the power pack is actually bigger or there's more power in it um, that's the only thing right now i'm hung up on i did have another battery pack that Again, it's a LiPo off the shelf. Um, I tested it with this. I got the same result, four minutes, 100%. Um, and the problem is that this battery pack barely fits inside of the drone. Um, I mean, you, it's scraping those stickers off, trying to stick it in there. So this one is a whole lot skinnier, so it'll fit inside the drone. So the goal is, and it actually, I checked this morning, I gotta work on the connectors on the top, the tabs, make them a little bit shorter, but it would actually fit back inside the battery pack inside of the case so that's the goal to get this back as one piece um, if the board starts reading the batteries I've seen other folks at the DJI is where you can swap the batteries out and it will still recognize it I'm still kind of playing with that because it doesn't seem like it does that with the Altel but we'll try it today so I brought both battery packs fully charged so we'll test this one out and then we'll swap the battery pack and try the other one and see if it gives us a any better result or at least Runs the battery down, we'll go back and recharge it again and do that about three or four times to see if it finally resets itself and picks it up, uh, picks up the new battery pack on it. So stay tuned. So the good news is it fits inside the Altel. So again, I gotta get the heat shrink and stuff on it, but so that fits inside. I thought about putting it in with the actual, with the plastic cover back on it, but I'm gonna hold off for now. I wanna make sure I get the electrical tape wrapped on it and get a heat shrink on it and everything. So don't wanna short anything out in the process. But we'll take it for a flight. All right, so as you can see, it's in there. Unfortunately, I had it on my tripod, so it may be a little shaky, but. And power this up. All right, got four lights. Let's we'll see what the controller says. All right, so as you can see, it's still four minutes at 100%, so we'll see what we can. We'll run it and go from there. Up in the air. Of course, I forgot about it. I should have took a screenshot of what the battery was before we started flying, but this is the after, so it's still showing it's 15 volts, but it only shows it having a 70 milliamp left. I flew it about seven minutes, so I got three, hour, three more minutes out of it than what it said. Um, I mean, the cells look three quarters full, so. As you can tell, it still sees it's there, but the total capacity, it's not reset. So again, hopefully if we charge it and fly it a few times and you know, charge and recharge, it'll reset the battery. At least I've seen that with the DJIs. That's what's helped. So we'll keep experimenting. And again, just to confirm that you know, after we flew it, it's still 15 volts. Cells are 3.8. 